fellow Toastmasters, and Mr. Bill, I like calling him. Speech title, happy, sad, bored, and excited. I thought it was really positive, and I like that you brought Vanessa in, even though I've heard this tale four times. About collecting the trash and speeding around. But as usual, you always do really good with your speech. And it's not my job to uh, to berate. My job is to help build you up so that you'll give better speeches. Great facial expressions. And when you're working with kids, that's very, very important. I like that you do that. I think it comes natural to you, honestly. Same with your hand gestures. They seem really natural. Good stage presence. I watched you move around. And that's important, depending on how big of a venue you're going to have when you talk to these kids. Because sometimes you're far away, you move in there and talk to them. Great speech flow. Again, this is natural for you. You pause, right? You look around. You give us a second before you have someone actually answer. I thought that was really good. You closed it very well. It was actually something like, take this home and think about it. Right? I'm bringing a message to you. I want you to think about it. How can you change things in your own mind? I thought that was really good. You always smile. And I've noticed with all your speeches, as usual, there's fun and there's laughter. People are laughing. You always seem to push that boundary and take that risk with audience participation. Some of the feedback I had. Um, I'd like to see you work on your intro. I don't want to see you go there with these kids and be like, let me get to my story. And that's kind of how you did for us. You did all that build up and then you said, don't start the clock. So technically that, that wasn't your speech. So then you gave one sentence and said, so let me get to the story. Try to put in a little bit of build up, right? You know, whole, how do you feel sometimes? Do you feel like you're dragging? Someone asks you to do something, you're not sure, you know, how to do it, or you don't have the energy in your food, right? Make some build-up in there, right? Before you started your story, you're like, you know what, we've all been there. Let me tell you a story. Right? You make it more natural. You make it more of a conversation. The title, I think you can do better. I know you, you're clever, you have humor. I put a couple down here just for ideas. Motivation, zero to 60 in five minutes. Finding that energy within, right? Because you're talking to high school kids, not elementary kids. So you, you want it to be a little playful, but you want it to be able to remember it. And then, uh, how to bribe kids and get results, okay? That's going to get people's attention. It's a real attention getter. The other thing I want you to do is figure out how you're going to do your audience participation. Because I felt like you had a really good speech, and you, for us here, it's really easy for you to say, Leslie, when you ask them a question. When you're in an auditorium full of kids that you don't know, you need to change your strategy a little bit. You always are pretty good about asking questions, and then, you know, whether it's a raise of hands, you know, raise of hand, you know, who has, who has done this? Who has seen this? You, go ahead there. Right? Just make sure that you know how you're going to do it. Because you can't do like here, where you just go, hey, who's done this? Right? And you know what happens, right? You get the awkward silence, and then you're like, boom, kicking yourself in the butt off stage. I think if you do some of these things, I know you're going to be successful with the kids. You're going to make it fun. I think it's a great opportunity for you to really step up your game with your speech level. So I appreciate your speech tonight. Thank you, sir.